The Douglas D558 series, which consisted of the Dash 1 and Dash 2 variants, was a joint U.S. Navy and National Advisory Council on Aeronautics program that occurred during roughly the same time as the Bell X-2 program, largely in the decade following the end of World War II. The D-558 program was initiated in 1945 to develop a series of three aircraft to explore the transonic and supersonic flight regime. The first aircraft was to be a jet-powered research aircraft, while the second was to be a hybrid jet and rocket-powered plane. The third variant would have been the precursor to a combat-ready aircraft that would eventually lead to series production. While two D-558 variants did indeed fly and a third was seriously proposed, the program took a very different path from what was originally planned. The first aircraft, the Douglas D-558-1 Skystreak, the aircraft shown in this footage, was the most faithful to the original plan. Construction of the Sky Street began in 1946 at the Douglas Aircraft Plant in El Segundo, California, and the first aircraft was complete by January of the next year. The fuselage was constructed primarily of magnesium alloy, while the straight wing and control surfaces were of traditional aluminum construction. A swept wing had been considered, but this was ultimately rejected due to the limited amount of hard aerodynamic data on swept wings that was available to engineers at the time. A Westinghouse TG-180 jet engine was the Skystreak's power plant and produced 5,000 pounds of thrust. All three aircraft were originally painted bright red, which led to the Skystreak being nicknamed the Crimson Test Tube. All three of the D558-1s were eventually repainted white to aid in tracking and photography. First flight of the Sky Street took place on April 14, 1947 at Murak Army Airfield in California. This same aircraft, with Navy Commander Turner Caldwell at the controls, set a world speed record of 641 miles per hour on August 20th, which was just four months after the first flight. Five days after that, that record was broken as Marine pilot Marion Carl managed to go 10 miles per hour faster. That particular flight is the one that's shown in the footage that you're watching now. Aircraft number one completed 101 flights and is now on display at the U.S. Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida. Aircraft number two was perhaps the most heavily instrumented of the three sky streaks and made 46 flights under both Navy and National Advisory Council on Aeronautics Control before it was lost due to a compressor stall on May 3, 1948. NACA pilot Howard Lilly was killed in the crash of that aircraft. Sky Street No. 3 took to the air in 1949 and flew the remainder of the test program, generating a tremendous amount of data on high subsonic and transonic flight, over 80 flights, and was retired in 1953. That aircraft is now on display at the Carolina Aviation Museum at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport. The Sky Streak was able to reach Mach 0.99 in level flight and could actually go supersonic if it was pushed over into a shallow dive. While the original contract called for six aircraft to be constructed, the contract was amended soon after construction began so that the second set of three aircraft could be built in a significantly different configuration. That aircraft became the Douglas D558-2 Skyrocket, which we'll highlight in the next segment of footage. <laughs> 